Ladies and gentlemen, those historic homes you see are part of the old town of Norddike. This was actually the site of a ghost town. Sagebrush has consumed it. Here I am walking in these sandals. If you looked at my sneakers, I had over two inches of mud and I had washed them in a bathroom sink at a gas station. And Oh man, I got mud everywhere. It was an accident, I didn't do it on purpose. There was no paper towels, nothing to clean it up. But let me tell you about Norddike. There is a few good intact buildings. There's one further out. It's out in the Sangatsky mountain range. This is Sangatsky, I believe, right here. And we'll be on the other side of it. On the other side is Ludwig. But it was named after Mr. Nordyke. He, uh, he had built the Nordyke and Marmon machinery at the flour mill. There was a rail station. And it was for the Nevada Copper Belt Railroad in 1910. Not too far up the road is the Mason Mountain. This town had a post office, had about 150 to 250 people. Uh, this is all ranch lands. Very, as you can see, there are some very tall peaks. Amazing scenery. In 1914, the town went bust. This is an area where a lot of the farmers used the Copper Belt Railway as a form of shipping of their goods. There was also a quartz mill here. I don't know where that is. If you look at the house, there's an old stone wall. That's how you know it's... It kind of fits the building here a little bit. Everything's made out of stone, the foundations. There should be three buildings in total. This is definitely an interesting little town. There's not a lot to see, so I expect to be here for maybe 15 minutes. Tammy will do the EVP. She seems to get them. That's why I'll let her do them, because she has a lot of luck getting them too, not just me. But wow, amazing. That sun, that sun is just beaming. See the old fan blades in there? A lot of rusty machinery. Just piled on up, you know? But it's still worth visiting the town of Nordyke. This, at one time, I mean, you know, 150 is still a lot of people. And at one time, people did live here on this land before serious ranching went on and bought up by the ranchers themselves. too bright to film so I'm gonna cut to the chase and start taking some photos uh, we'll try to get inside for a little peek